Hello and welcome to the second video of Software Defined Radio Lab. Here we will cover the basic setup and self test of Software Defined Radio Lab. First, both of these laptops are booted, and when these laptops are powered on, you will see Ubuntu operating system and along with the open source Linux OS. Open source software GNU Radio has been pre installed along with all the experiment manuals and lab experiments. So, to get started with the lab experiment, we will first plug both of these antennas omnidirectional antenna, directional antenna in any manner which we want. And when we connect the software defined radio using USB 3.0 to the PC, we will see that the power LED has lit up and after a couple of seconds we will see both all the three LEDs have also lit up. So this confirms that the USB 3.0 is powering the SDR and the FPGA in SDR has been loaded successfully. So after this we can carry on with our experimentation and other stuff. We will just show a brief demo of transmitting a carrier wave at 1.2345 GHz from SDR over here to this SDR. Both of these SDRs are full duplex software defined radios but in this video we will be using one SDR as a transmitter and another SDR as a receiver. On the receiving side on the laptop we already have GNU radio companion running and we have a basic experiment where we are visualizing a FFT. On this side we will start the transmission of a carrier free a carrier wave at 1.2345 gigahertz. When we start the transmission, you will see that the middle LED, LED2 is blinking continuously at the rate of around 4 hertz per second. So this tells us that there is no overflow or underflow happening on the PC or the SDR. And on the receiver side also, we can clearly see a carrier frequency being transmitted at a frequency of 1.2345 GHz. So in order to change the frequency, sampling rate, bandwidth, gain, all these parameters can be changed from the software itself. Along with GNU radio, the software defined radio can also work in MATLAB and MATLAB Simulink. 